Today we're going to be talking about the 123 Tune Distributor. This is a fully electronic distributor that you can set the advance curve and the vacuum curve yourself purely by connecting it to a laptop. We're going to go through simple um, demonstration on a laptop and show you how it's done. First thing you will see when you open your 123 distributor up, in the side there's um, a plug for an Allen key. So we need to take that out. Inside you'll find a micro USB socket. Connect that to your laptop. Remember to use a shielded lead. Then you'll need the information. When Lucas printed the advance curves, they obviously use distributor figures. But when programming a 1, 2, 3, you don't use distributor figures, you use crankshaft figures, which are twice distributor figures. So this one, for example, this is going on a very old car, a Bristol 400, early 1950s. This one, the advanced curve I've got here, basically a set of numbers. So the advance starts at between 300 to 450 revs. Remember, this is distributor revs. And then you'll get 8 to 10 degrees of advance at 1200 and 18 to 20 degrees of advance at 2250. So the numbers we need to program into here are double this. So we're going to start the advance between 600 and 900. We're going to put 16 to 8, 20 degrees on at 2400 and 36 to 40 degrees at 4500. What we normally do is just take the central figure from each. On the 123 distributor, you can also program in the vacuum curve. There's not a physical vacuum, it's all done electronically. But on the car we're going to demonstrate with, it didn't originally have a vacuum. So I will be showing you how to set that to no vacuum. When you buy your 123 distributor, there will be a little instruction book. On the first page of the instruction book, there's a link for you to download the dashboard to program your 123 distributor. Um, get that link downloaded and then you will see the dash appear on your screen like this. From the dashboard, the top of the screen, click settings. Click curve one. This is where you program your first curve for the distributor. You could also program a second curve if, for example, you're running ethanol for motor racing or something where you need a different advanced curve. But on normal road cars, you're just sticking to the first one. You will see there's a preset graph. Basically, what you've got to do is alter this graph to the settings you've got. Now we need There was no advance below no 900, so we've got 900 here and zero. The next one is at 2400. We had 18 degrees of advance. Being a very old distributor, the advance curve is very simple, so there aren't many points to plot. 4,500, you'd have 38 degrees of advance, and that's where it stays at maximum. So that is the graph 
have the advanced curve for the Bristol 400. As the Bristol 400 distributor didn't have a vacuum advance, you set all the figures to zero. And what you should end up with is just a straight line. There we go. Shows an exact straight line that gives the distributor no vacuum advance at all. Here at Holden Vintage and Classic, we hold a whole range of 123 distributors in stock. And we are now able to offer the service of setting them up to suit your individual car. We hold all of the advanced curves back to mid 1930s, and we also hold the vacuum advances so we can set it up for more or less any British car. Please contact our sales team for more details.